Hey guys, this is Donnie with databases.biz. So in this video, I'm going to show you a it's a PTR safe um, declaration that you got to do. Sometimes some of the databases that you may have, you may come up on that error. And so like when I click on categories here, you can see right here the code in this project must be updated for use on a 64-bit system. So database may have been made on a 32-bit system. So in order for me to use on a 64-bit system, I need to declare this uh, PTR safe right here, this attribute. So it's pretty simple to do. All you're gonna do, so as soon as this is opened up, I'm gonna hit stop so the debugger will stop. And then I'm just going right after declare, I'm gonna type PTR safe. And then I'm gonna hit, come up here and run the debugger again. And then it's going to give me that same thing. So to stop me from having to constantly type, I'm just going to copy PTR safe plus that space right there. And then just click in before it. And I already know everything in red here, all these functions needs to go ahead and have it too. All right, so this is probably an error for whoever built this database. I'm actually opening somebody else's database. Oh, I see. I actually didn't. After. So, right before the function, so fix that. And let's see. And then here's some more. You see, this here is commented out, so it's green with my colored ones. I'm just going down, keep on putting it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit debug again to go to the next one. And you'll do the same thing um, to get rid of all the issues. So you saw that was a sub right there. So it still does the same thing. So we're declaring the attribute so it'll actually work. So I'll hit the bug again. One right here. Bug. It makes it easier. So it's, you know, there's so much code in this particular database. It's probably one I shouldn't have used as an example. I downloaded it. Um, I was going to record a video about it and stuff um, about opening up reports um, from a from a list of reports to show you how to do that. Um, but I saw I had this error, so I thought, oh, let's just fix that and show you how to do that. Because this has been an issue for a lot of people lately. That's using Microsoft Access. Um, they go from 32-bit to 62-bit um, database install, and they've been trying to figure out how to do this, so that it's not so hard. So now you can see I just hit debug, and that's grayed out, which means that I've actually debugged the database. So now when I click on this, now you can see it actually opens up for me. Um, so we just go ahead and check out this real quick. These are just forms. And I'll report. So right here you can see this is what I was going to show, which I'll show in the next video. Um, just picking a report that I want to print, and this is, gives you parameters that you can print, and then obviously I'm going to print a uh, preview report, and then it just opens that up. Let's see, preview. And this is a different report. Let's see what's on it. So there's some pretty cool stuff right here. So anyways, that's how you um, fix when you got a 32-bit install installation of database or using a database that was installed on a 32-bit system. Um, then we convert and we just put that PTR safe attribute in there and then that'll allow you to actually open the database with a 64-bit system, which is what my my installation is. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you got any questions, let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button for me as well. Um, and also go to databases.biz. I have a learning management system installed there where you can log in and track progress on different videos that you want to uh, watch. And All right, have a good day.